we want to predict the number of unpaired electrons in the complex ion hexacyanochromium uh, 6. Hexacyanochromium 6. Oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, there's a 4 minus. <laughs> there it is. So, uh, you're right. So, since it's 4 minus, what would be the charge on chromium? Uh, that would make chromium a 2 plus charge. So, that would make it hexacyanochromium 2 ion. Hexacyanochromium 2 ion. Okay, so we want to find the number of unpaired electrons. Let's give this a try. Oh, and chromate. It's so good. It's so good a name. Hexacyanochromate 2 ion, because whenever it's a negatively charged species, you have to end in 8. All right. Fantastic. So it's chromium 2 plus. Uh, chromium is in the sixth column of the periodic table. So 6 minus 2, there's 4 electrons, and we write that D4. Um, uh, now, uh, before we draw it, let's take a look at the spectrochemical series to see if cyanide is a strong or a weak field ligand. Cyanide is a strong field ligand, so I'm expecting a large delta at this point. So a large delta. So if we draw this, now we see there's six ligands, so I'm going to draw the octahedral picture. So that's three on the bottom, two on top. Fill in the electrons. There's a total of four. Remember that delta is large. So one, two, three. Because delta is large, the fourth one is going to stay on bottom. So that makes there's two unpaired electrons. It's still paramagnetic, um, uh, sort of. Still a paramagnetic, low spin sort of complex, but it's two unparalleled.